Now the next one is the updating style from selection. So let's apply some style to two or three places. Now let's suppose I just want uh, to make changes in this particular style, my style too, and I want that if I do it at one place, it should be reflected in my rest of the paragraph. Like this uh, is also having style 2, my style 2, this is also my style 2 and this is also my style 3. Now I want to make changes uh, like in the color. Over here, I just want this color. So I want that wherever my style 2 is applied in my document, it should be updated automatically once I apply it over here. So what we can do is we will use the option update from style. So go over here and click on update style. You can see that it's done with a single click. I hope this is clear to you. Next one is if what if if you want to suppose you have created your style in over here my style one my style two and para one. Now again, if you open a new document there, you can't find them. Let's see whether we are able to find. So let's create a new document here. And let's see whether we have para1 formatting in paragraph style and my style1, my style2 in this one. So I couldn't see that. See, right? And here I do not have my style1 and 2. Okay. So what if I want to bring those styles that I have created in one of the document over here? For that, you just go over here and here you have the option for load style. Let me first copy paste some of the text over here, then I'll show it to you. Now under paragraph, I do not have para1 or my style1, my style2. That They are not here, right? You can see. So for this, for bringing those ones, let's first save that document. It was uh, this document. So first you have to save it. So go to File, Save As and save your document. Let's give it a name, um, style to be uploaded or style to be transferred, style transfer and click on save. Now once you save your document which contains the style that you want to use in another document, open the document in which you want to use it and again over here come to this option and you have to choose load style option here. Now as we have to load the style from our file that we have created, so I will choose the option from file and then I will select the file from where we have to copy the styles. So let me show you. This is the one, right? Now once I click on this one, you can see that it will must be having para1. Let me see whether it is having. Yes, I think uh, yes, para1 in paragraph style and my style 1 and 2 in character style. So yes, I can apply them. Uh, let's do that. Right? So this is how we can upload style from a document to a new document. We need to go to more tabs over here. First one is the frame style. Now suppose for that I have inserted this image over here. So if I want to give it a frame, I just uh, select this particular image and double click on frame. It will give a frame to the image. You can see over here. After that we have this list style. So I have created these list items. I'm going to select it and let's go to list style tab. And here I'll just show you one by one this list one, list two, three, four, five. Similarly, I can give number. We have different numbered style and modulated style. So I just want to apply the third one over here. And this is how we can use the list style tab and uh, frame style tab. Then now let's move to page style and it has different page sizes like default is the one which is you are working with. Now let's make it to envelope. It will change to envelope one. Now let's uh, click on the page and double click. You can see now it has been changed to an envelope size. Similarly if I want to change the let's make it default and I want the orientation to be landscape. 
so I can never kick and it will quickly do your work. So we have covered almost everything within this style and protein dialog box and different styles. Okay, so this is uh, all for working with style in case you have any doubt or any problem. Uh, you may write that in the comment section and I'll definitely come back to you. Other than that, you can find the syllabus of the session as well as NCRT PDF for both the part, part A and probability skills and part B subject specific skills in the description box. Do check that. Thoroughly read the NCRT. Okay. But other than that, you have the references book. Of course, the more you read, the more you will gain. So that's all. In the next video, we are going to cover how to work with the graphical objects and images. Till then, keep learning and explore. Be awesome.